Hello everyone. Now we'll continue to study the next part, part one. In this class, I'll introduce the first system in our body, local motor system. First, I'll introduce about the composition of the local motor system. In local motor system, we have three parts. The first one is the bones. We have 206 bones in our body. And second part, the joints. The connected bone, they will form a joint. The joints can move. Third one is the muscle. The muscle is powered. When the muscle contract or release, they can make the bone and joints to help to finish the movement. And from the three parts of the locomotor system, now let's see the function of them. The locomotor system not only provides the framework, first you see all the bones connect each other, will form framework. The framework we can stand up, sit down, or lying. Okay. And, but also carry out the function of motion. All the moment is finished by the local motor center and support support our body, support our height, support the limbs, and protection. You know the thorax or the bone of thorax will protect heart and lungs and other organs. And some bones can create blood cell. I later I'll introduce which bone can create create the blood cells. All of them is the function of the local motor system. And first, I'll introduce about the chief uh, description of the local motor system. And then we'll study all the bones in our body, all the joints, and all the muscles. So the local motor system is very complicated. There are many knowledge. I'll teach you one by one. First, let's see chapter 1, Osteology, or Bony System. And first, let's see the introduction of the Osteology. The Osteology is the study on bone. First, you should know this number. This number is very important. Everyone must know it. How many bones are there in our body? You should know. 206. Okay, it's in adult is this number. But if you are a child, please guess. In a child, the number is more or less? Yes, it's more. Because in a child, there are many bones. They are separated. But when you become to an adult, many bones will combine to one bone. For example, here is our hip, the hip bone. In hip bone, there are three bones in a child, ilium, pubis, and ischium. There are three bones. But when you become adult, the three bones will combine to one bone. So in a child, the number is more than eight. And all the bones, according to the location, it divide into skull, the bone in our height, bones of trunk, and bones of limbs, including upper limb and bones of lower limb. First, I will introduce about the shape and the classification of the bones. The first one is long bone uh, in our body. There are many bones. First one, the long bone, for example, humerus, femur, they are long bone. You see, they are long. But some bone is short, but they are long bone. For example, all the bone of your finger. You see, they are short, but they belong to long bone. Why? Later, I'll explain. Second one is short bone, you see here. In our wrist, there are many small bones, they are short bone. 
Third one is flight born. They are flight. For example, on the back, scapular is flight born. Or some bone of the skull is flight born. The fourth one, the last one is irregular bone. Irregular bone means the bone is not long, not short, not flight, not irregular. Uh, for example, you see the vertebrae, all the vertebrae, and the hip bone. You can't describe what's the, the shape. Uh, what's the shape? So is irregular bone. All of them is down to irregular bone. Okay, is the classification according to sheep. First, let's see the long bone. If it, it one's bone, one bone may belong to long bone, it must, it must has one shaft and two ends. You see, it's a long bone. It's a long bone. In the middle is the shaft or body. On the two ends, superior and inferior, there are two ends. The ends has another name is epiphysis. 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 Okay. First, let's see in the shaft. In the shaft. Okay, here. In the shaft, it's hollow. It's hollow. There is a tube in it. And in the tube, it's filled with marrow. Later, I'll introduce the marrow. The marrow full of in the tube, in the shaft. Okay. And this cavity is medullary cavity. And in the cavity, there are marrow, bone marrow. Some is yellow bone marrow, some is right bone marrow. Okay, so one bone, it belongs to long bone. First height, one body, two ends, and the body must hollow. There is a cavity in it. If bone, you see it's long, but there is no cavity in the shaft in the body. It's not a long bone. And you see on the one end, the upper or the superior end, the surface is very smooth, very, very smooth. It's covered by the articular surface. And it's very, very smooth. And this is our head of humerus. The head of humerus will connect with the scapular, will form our shoulder joint. So this surface is very, very smooth. It's covered by the articular cartilage. Yes, the smooth structure is cartilage. Okay. Okay, now let's see this picture. This picture is X-ray picture. You know the X-ray. When some patient uh, think of perhaps some bone is broken, you will go to the hospital. The doctor will text, make you an X-ray text. X-ray can see the bone, can see the bone if it's broken. And now in this picture, you see. Oh, uh, first, please guess. This is two pictures, left and the right side. Which side is a young man? Or which one is belong to a child? Left or right? They are different. Here is different. You see? You see? Here is between the end and shaft. And here is another bone. And this one is the inferior part of the femur. Between the inferior end and the shaft. And here is tibia, the superior end and the shaft. Femur and the tibia, they are also belong to the long bone. And this is also another femur, another tibia, but they are different, here different, you see? There is a space between the end and the shaft, it's also. But on this picture, there is no the space between them. It connects each other closely. Only you can see a white line. And this one, which one it belongs to a child? 
OK, now I give you the answer. The left one, it belongs to a child. The right one, right one belongs to adult. Why is different in child or adult is between? The shaft is connected with epiphysis by cartilage. In a child, this cartilage is epiphyseal cartilage. And the cartilage under the x-ray, you can't see the cartilage because the cartilage is transparent or semi-transparent. So they are not can't be seen under the x-ray. You can see there is a space, but it's not a true space. It's a cartilage between them. And the cartilage can become longer and longer. So your long bone can become longer and longer. So your hairs can become taller and taller. So the child, they can become taller and taller because there is a cartilage. The cartilage can become longer and longer. But in adult, this cartilage will become to a true bone. So you can't see the space. And here, the cartilage is replaced by a true bone. So you only can see a white line in here. So this one is adult. This cartilage is artificial cartilage. Only in a child you can see the cartilage. So this picture belongs to a child. And this one is, uh, here is the reason. After ossification, ossification means a cartilage becomes to a true bone. All the artificial cartilage finished ossification and finished in a doubt. So in a child, you can't see the cartilage, only see a white line. And this white line, another name is artificial line. Artificial lung. Here is artificial cartilage. So, some boys and girls, if you want to know if can you become taller in future, you can go to the hospital to take the X-ray to see if it's a cartilage or a lung. If it's a cartilage, congratulations, you can become taller in future. And if it's a lung, <laughs> okay, now you can't become taller. In. Okay. Now let's see the second one is the short bone. The short bone often you can see them in your waist or your ankle. Uh, they are short bone. The short bone is very small uh, and, and it's round or it's smooth surface so to, they can move each other very freely. So the one is flat bone, for example, the bone of the skull or the rib, sternum, they are flat bone, flat bone. The flat bone often to protect the cavity in them, the thoracic cavity, the carina cavity, the function is protect. The fourth one is irregular bone. You see this, these three bones, they are irregular. This one is the one vertebrae, this one is hip bone, and this one is maxillary. They are irregular bone. You can't describe the shape is irregular. And some cranial bone contain air filled cavity or sinuses and are known as pneumatic bone. For example, the maxillar. In the maxillar, there are some cavity in it. Cavity, you see, uh, peri nose centers. So this cavity is filled with air and the function is can reduce the haze of the head help up to finished action. Now you see this bone is patellar. Patellar is belong to sesamoid bone. Sesamoid bone means this bone is very small. Uh, it's like uh, very, very, very smaller one. And this patellar is in front of our knee joint between the femur and the tibia. It's the biggest patellar. You know, this is the biggest patellar. Biggest sesamoid bone in our body. And then it's about the structure of the bone. The bone is organ. The living organ. 
and consist these structures. The bony substance is the basis. Uh, around it is the periosteum, osteum, and in the middle of there is a cavity. In the cavity is filled with bone marrow. At the same time, there are many blood vessels, some lymphatic vessels, and the nerves. It's all the structure of it. First one, let's say, is the bony substance. The bony substance has compact bone and spongy bone. First one, compact bone. Compact bone will form the shaft of the long bone and extend a layer of the epiphysis. First, you see this one. Here, the external layer. This one is compact bone. This part is compact. And in the middle, if you see here, the many structure is very like the knight. And it's very loose. So here is spongy bone. It's very like the sponge. And it's also around, around the, the bone is compact bone. Uh, in the middle, cross each other from the night work. Uh, this one is spongy bone, and this is under the X ray. You can see outside compact, compact. Okay, uh, in the middle of here, night work, it is spongy bone. Okay. Mm, this one is our vertebrae. In the vertebrae, you can see it's a true vertebrae. In the middle, there are very many network. Uh, this one is spongy, spongy. Okay, and this spongy part can produce red cell, red cell, blood cell. Okay, so this marrow is red bone marrow can produce red cell. And uh, this one is our bone skull. Outer layer, inner layer, or player plate is compact bone. In the middle is spongy bone, spongy bone. And in the skull, there is another name. Here is outer plate. Here is inner plate. They are compact bone. In the middle is diploid, diploid, spongy bone. And second one, periosteum. Periosteum. The periosteum, they are light. The outer surface, you see, outer surface, this layer, the thin layer of the whole bone, except the articular surface. There is no periosteum. And this one is periosteum. On the periosteum, there are many blood vessels supply the bone, and some nerve control in narrating. And another one is endosteum is line the inner aspect you see here inner okay, here. here is the cavity marrow cavity here is the inner surface inner surface of the medullary cavity and that also has a periosteum is endosteum and outside here here is periosteum so there are two layers outer layer and inner layer, there are two periosteum. Okay, it's also can see this picture again. Outside is periosteum and the inside is endosteum. Yeah. And outside the periosteum can see two layers, outer layer and inner layer, but you don't need to master. Okay. Outer layer is fibrous membrane, the inner one is vascular membrane. The vascular membrane has many blood vessels, supplied bone. And third one is the bone marrow. Just now I see the long bone, there is a cavity, a medullary cavity, and in the cavity is filled with bone marrow. And the bone marrow has two types. One is red bone marrow, another one is the yellow bone marrow. The red bone marrow, you see here, on two ends, right bone marrow. This marrow can making can make the blood cell produce right cell, blood cell in our body. 
and in a child they are all right bone marrow means here in the shaft it also can produce the blood cell all the medullary cavity is filled with right bone marrow but in adult the shaft part this right bone marrow is replaced by yellow bone marrow the yellow bone marrow is replaced by fatty tissue so can't produce blood vessel again okay it's bone marrow but some bone in your life in your all in your life can produce right bone marrow let's see the bone first first one vertebrae ribs sternum hip bone and upper end or inferior end of the long bone for example the femur the humerus your all your life can produce the right cell the blood cell so in all your life they are right bone marrow filled in the filled in there and other bone except them all the other bone in a doubt only uh, there is no right marrow only the yellow bone marrow okay here is the last one the chemical composition you only to know it don't need to matter there are two chemicals in a bone one is organic material another one is in organic material okay here is some medical structure you don't need to master and let's see this picture in a, in an infant there are many organic material so the bone is very easy to be deformed they can change the shape very easily you can see here and you can circle it and curve it because deform the shape of it because there are many organic material okay and in old there are more inorganic material so all this bone is very easily to be broken uh, when the name is is bone fracture is very easily because there are more inorganic material okay it's different only know this one is okay